Hello class! Welcome to today's math lesson. My name is Mrs. Lawson and I am so very glad that you are here to learn with me today. Today our learning goal is to review our double stacks and I bet that you remember them from last year. Do you remember them? Well, let's practice. I want you to say the answer. Are you ready? Zero plus zero is zero. One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Three plus three is six. Four plus four is eight. Five plus five is ten. Six plus six is twelve. Seven plus seven is fourteen. Eight plus eight is sixteen. Nine plus nine is eighteen. Do you know what ten plus ten is? It's twenty. Well done. Well today we're going to look at a way to hmm, to help us when we can't remember our facts because one, we can memorize them by using little flashcards or a game, but two, we can know what it means to add two plus two to make four. And I want us to look at some great ways to review when we can't remember. Come on into my classroom and review with me. Let's take a minute to use our apple and some, well, they're really beans, but we'll say apple seeds to practice our doubles plus one. Well, our first question, zero plus zero, is pretty easy. If we don't have anything on this side and don't have anything on this side, our answer would be zero. Well, what if we have the question one plus one? What would our answer be? Two. And I know that you knew that one. All right. How about two plus two? Well, we have two on one side and two on the other, so two plus two equals four. What about three? plus three. Well, three plus three is six. We can practice four plus four as well. And we know that four plus four is eight. What about five plus five? I'm going to put one in the middle on each side. Five plus five is ten. And six plus six. We have six plus six. I am going to put our six plus six into groups of three. Three plus three is six. And six plus six is twelve. What about seven plus seven? It is, it's 14, well done. And then eight plus eight. Well, I'm gonna put my seeds into groups of four. Four plus four is eight, and eight plus eight is 16. And then we have nine plus nine, and nine plus nine is 18. If there are any of these that are tricky for you, you can use little objects and count them. This side has nine, so we don't have to count this side, but we can count on nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. When you use objects, it sometimes makes it just a little bit easy, easier for us to understand. Also, if you have a few that are a little bit tricky, like maybe you keep mixing up 
9 plus 9, 8 plus 8, 7 plus 7, and 6 plus 6. You could write the answers on little cards and try to match them. Hmm, 6 plus 6, that one's 12. But what about 7 plus 7? Is it 16, 18, or 14? Well, it is 14. Hmm, 8 plus 8, is it 16 or 18? That's right, it is 16. And 9 plus 9 is 18. I would like for you to practice today all of your doubles. Maybe you can practice just with your cards or with some little answer cards. Maybe you would like to use some little objects to help you. Either way, I'd like for you to practice. Class, I'm so thankful that you came to review your math with me today. We were, were reviewing our doubles facts and I know that you are going to remember them. And if you don't, I know that you can figure them out. Let's review these together. 9 plus 9 is 18. 8 plus 8 is 16. 7 plus 7 is 14. 6 plus 6 is 12. 5 plus 5 is 10. 4 plus 4 is 8. 3 plus 3 is 6. 2 plus 2, 4. 1 plus 1 is 2. And zero plus zero is zero. Well done. I am so glad that you came and reviewed with me today. And I hope that you have some fun practicing your math. Have a great day class. Bye-bye. It's raining. Can you hear it raining? I'm so excited that I finished the video before it got too wet.